to other political parties. Uh, what we want to achieve is stability. We have not arrived at any decision to review or set aside agreements where we think the situation is normal and it is proper at the local government. Our team, when it meets, it will do the evaluation and listen to the uh, representations from our structures as they participate in those uh, um, uh, uh, local government uh, coalition arrangements. I'm not going to come to your interview and, and, and announce a decision that has not been processed by the ANC structures. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, a view that comes from Minister Chavisa might be correct going forward where there is instability, that the GNU arrangement must find expression at local government. That we will examine. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to leave here with an impression that Mbalula is the general secretary, uh, spoke about something that the ANC has not uh, processed as, yep. a, as a party. We have not processed that. What I'm, I'm saying is that in the Western Cape, we have been approached. I was there over the weekend. Our structures there have got proposals in terms of what must happen. Our task team this week will look into those proposals. Next week, Monday, I'll put them before the officials and the NWC to process that. Only then, if there is a shift, I'll make announcements as yeah. the Secretary General on behalf of the ANC. And I led those discussions mm -hmm. with Helen Zille and the DA in the province. And uh, we reached a stalemate in terms of government, uh, of uh, modalities of, of, of cabinet. Uh, it is said to be seen how this model will work, uh, where in which we've got to pass budget um, and all of that uh, in terms of how and and... Uh, whom are we then going to work with uh, going forward? Are you so, confident that it will work? It is possible it will work. It is possible that it might not work. It is possible that uh, it may need us to further review the situation going forward. So the situation of Gauteng is very fragile, but we are confident talking to our comrades in Gauteng that it will work. They okay. are very much uh, confident that it will work, but uh, I cannot uh, put uh, my head on the block and that of the ANC to say that it will be 100% without uh, withering the storm, uh, you know, which is bumpy and all of that. It is possible that in a couple of months or whatsoever, we'll come back here and say, uh, you know, because of this and that, we have decided to take this route. Unlike national government, I can tell you that it is firm. Can you hear me? As far as possible. Mm -hmm. It cannot be. When you are in government, the ANC says IFP is wrong about this and that in GNU. You, you think that is going to collapse. National chair says, DA, Zile, you are not the president. Allow government to function smoothly. Government of national unity is under threat. No, that's not the case. Uh, where there are fundamental differences, we have agreed we need to put measures in place to clear those differences. Where we can't, then uh, we can't, and that is the case. And uh, uh, in this particular instance, we must understand that uh, there will be different viewpoints that will be expressed within the GNU. In KZN, MK party was supposed to invite everybody to form government. They invited everyone and excluded the ANC. In KZN, MK party as the leading party, the mm -hmm. IFP invited everybody, and then we came and we constituted government. And that's what has actually happened. Yeah. So should there be contradictions or matters of difference between, they will be sorted out but, but, within but the, but our, the the our arrangement of uh, a GNU and the province itself to engage with the IFP and, 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 and sort out those particular issues. But there are fundamental differences that may not lead to agreement. And yeah. we know how to resolve those issues. It's only through the popular vote, which is you being voted overwhelmingly to lead. Mm -hmm. And then if you have that, then you don't have to negotiate your path with any political party. For instance, they are non-negotiables. You can't come to us and say, let's review triple BEE. It's a non-negotiable. You can't come to us but and say, that, let's that's review what the DAA NHR. had, for instance. Yeah, they, yeah. Can, they can. They can raise those yeah. issues, but at the end of the day, they are non-negotiables yeah. when it comes to us. Because we just formed government, and it doesn't mean that if we go with Zuma party, even tomorrow, there will not be 
double contradictions with them. Yeah. We don't know what they stand for, what they want, and that is it. And therefore, if they were to form government tomorrow, what makes it you to think that it will be aligned and they will just have a smooth operation is that uh, up until I know what you stand for, what you want, then uh, we, we'll have to wait for that. At the present moment, we've got a government running in KZN, and uh, that government must be given a chance. And uh, if any point of difference arises every week in and week out, it doesn't mean collapse of government. So it's a no for now for MK party? I'm saying there's no basis for us to so consider. So it's a no for now. I'm saying there's no basis to consider. It's, these things is not like one plus one is equal to two. This is politics. Everything is in a state of motion. It's not static. And that is what we subscribe to, dialectical materialism. And in itself, it means things are not static. They are in a state of motion. And in that, it means you consider your options. And at the same time, what defines the state of motion is stability. We want st stable government. We can't establish government because we don't agree on one point today and then we lead to the collapse of GNU. I mean, what makes it uh, uh, a difference in the sense that the next partner that will come will not even collapse? It means you will collapse, collapse, collapse. K party did not approach us sure. to form government. We are working with Ingard. Okay. And, uh, and uh, that's where we are now, and we're building uh, that government going forward. Mm. MK party, full-blown. Jacob Zuma is on the other side, own up the party. Actually, there are serious developments since the announcement of him not voting for us to him firmly now moving at the driving seat of the political party. He's a leader of MK party, which is in opposition to the ANC. So uh, he has taken uh, not just fewer steps, he has moved yeah. kilometers uh, uh, to define himself outside the ANC. So, 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 so it's water under the bridge. We're dealing with MK party of Jacob Zuma. Uh, that is an opposition to the African National Congress. I'm going to argue that in the DC. And I'm leading that as the Secretary General mm -hmm. and the custodian of the ANC. What's decisions. your argument before the DC? I will put it there, not here. To the court cases undertaken by Afri Forum, we are not party to that. What we believe is that we must look at Section 47 to address the lacuna of individuals who, has, who have been uh, impeached and now they come back as public representatives to serve in the legislatures. In reality, you cannot debar Lope uh, from becoming a public representative morally if I were the party that he belongs to, I wouldn't have gone for that person. But given who Zuma is, he will do that. So uh, what we need to do as a country is to address that as the ANC and work with other parties to address the issue of this impeached judge who is now part of the JSC, exploiting the gaps in terms of the rules uh, of parliament. Address that because... Uh, the question of insolvency and all of that by individuals. Welcome to LT Celeb Times. That's it for now, guys, and thank you so much for watching this video. And please tell us what you think about this on the comment section below. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.